morning. There's a lot more to say, Naga, you wee rascal. What we have today is a mixture of sunshine and showers. Now, some of the showers are merging to give some longer spells of rain, but eventually most of them will become confined to the south and the west, where they could still be heavy and thundery. This is yesterday's rain moving away onto the near continent. We've got a line of showers, some are heavy, moving from the west to the east, and we've also got more showers packing in to the west. But there's a lot of dry weather around today, fair bit of sunshine, our showers continuing to eventually move away from East Anglia and the southeast, but continuing in the west and parts of the south, around the Channel Islands, Isles of Scilly, Cornwall, Devon, for example. Some of those could also be heavy and thundery. Now, it's going to be quite a windy day today, but nothing like we had yesterday. And temperature-wise, we're down a couple of degrees than yesterday. Parts of the Northwest Highlands saw 13 yesterday. Today, it's more likely to be around about 9 or maybe 10. But as we come further south, we're looking at 10s or indeed 20s. 12s. Now through this evening and overnight you can see how the showers continue to push inland getting into eastern areas. The wind falls lighter and we'll see some clear spells developing. Now if you're in an area with a clear spell it will feel a bit chillier than these temperatures are suggesting and it's hardly a heat wave with those temperatures in towns and cities. So some patchy mist and fog first thing in the morning across the north of Scotland will be replaced as this area of low pressure continues to come across our shores introducing some further showers from the west to the east but tomorrow too we will see a lot of dry weather. Naka. OK, I take it back. Good morning. Well, it's a real mishmash of weather today. We've got some showers moving through, further showers yet to come. Some will be heavy and thundery, but for some of us, it is going to be dry and it's also going to be sunny. Now, you can see where we've had a lot of showers, some of them merging to give some longer spells of rain through the course of the morning. We've had some thunder and lightning as well. And the showers across central and southern England will continue to push away with that weather front into the North Sea. Meanwhile, Connected to this area of low pressure, a second weather front's coming our way, enhancing the showers that we're seeing in the west. And still quite a blustery day, not as windy as yesterday. Now, in between all of those showers, there'll be some dry conditions, some bright weather, some sunny spells. But the showers will continue on and off through the day across the west and parts of the south. Far north of Scotland, though, seeing some sunshine. Yesterday in Kinloch Hugh in the northwest highlands, we hit 13 degrees. It was the warmest part of the UK. Today, it's likely to be 7 for Northern Ireland and Northern England, showers for you at times. The further east you travel, the better chance you have of seeing some sunshine. Heavy showers for Wales and southwest England. We see the clearance of the showers in the southeast and east Anglia. And in between, for the Midlands, Hampshire, Dorset, we'll see some sunshine. Now, temperatures further south run about 7 to 8 or 9, but it's not out with the realms of possibility we could see a 10 or an 11. Through this evening and overnight, well, we continue with those showers moving from the west towards the east. Quite a lot of cloud around, but where the cloud breaks, it will be a chilly night once again. Some patchy mist and fog forming across parts of Scotland. So these are the kinds of temperatures you can expect in towns and cities, lower than that in rural areas. Tomorrow then, we start off with the dregs of the showers clearing the southeast, but with our low pressure close by, more showers coming in across Northern Ireland, Scotland, Northern England and North Wales. And you can see a few too, just clipping the likes of the Isles of Scilly, the Channel Islands and also Cornwall. Temperature is very similar tomorrow to what we're looking at today. Overnight Thursday into Friday, we've got this band of rain sweeping up from the southwest, moving northeastwards through the day, resting across Northern Ireland, Northern England for a time, and then moving across southern and central Scotland. Quite a bit of cloud ahead of it, but still a pleasant enough day across the northeast, and some sunshine as we push further south, temperatures slowly starting to climb. And then on Saturday, Again, we're looking at some showers across Northern Ireland and Scotland, maybe a little bit of wintriness on the hills, but a lot of dry weather, not much of a breeze. And on Saturday, actually, it's looking like being the driest day of the weekend, with temperatures again climbing up 12, maybe 13. It's Sunday that we could well see things change with rain coming our way, leading us into Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Well, at the moment, we're looking at temperatures right about where they should be at this stage in December. And any white Christmas? Well, it's more likely if it does happen to be in the hills and the mountains of Scotland. Naga. You say that every year. But you're more likely to have a white Christmas with an early Easter. No, you're more <laughs> likely to have snow, I should say, <laughs> with an early Easter than you are at Christmas because winter's had time to take hold and the air's colder. So it's a nice 
fantasy to have a white Christmas for some uh, of us. Always up for a fantasy about white Christmas. Thank you, Jane. Good morning. Well, we were talking about the Christmas Eve and Christmas Day weather half an hour ago. Our latest models have just come in and it shows that on Christmas Eve it's looking unsettled with some of us seeing some rain and then on Christmas Day with high pressure building in, things looking more settled but temperatures only in single figures. So something just to bear in mind. We'll keep you updated, of course, over the next couple of days anyway. Now today we're looking at sunshine and showers, the heaviest eventually being in the west and the south. This is what we've already seen this morning. Quite a lot of showers, some merging to give longer spells of rain and some of them have been heavy and thundery and that's the way we're continuing. The showers moving across the south, continuing to move away slowly through the day and another set of fronts enhancing further showers in the west. And looking at the isobars, you can see it's going to be quite a blustery day but not as windy as yesterday. So our showers continue to move towards East Anglia We've got some here already and the southeast before clearing. Then a lot of dry weather. There'll be a lot of sunshine or at worst bright spells today. And you can see that across the north of Scotland. But still those showers in the west. Now for Northern Ireland and Northern England, you too are not immune to showers. There'll be bright or sunny skies, especially across northeast England. And for Wales and southwest England, the Channel Islands and the Isles of Scilly, again we've got those showers. But move up from the Isle of Wight into Hampshire, Dorset, into the Midlands, parts of East Anglia. Here we will see some sunshine. Now, despite what you can see in the charts, we could hit 10 or 11 in the south today, but generally we're in high single figures. Through this evening and overnight, the showers push inland, moving over towards the east, quite a bit of cloud around, the wind folds light, and we'll see some breaks in the cloud. Now, where that happens, especially in rural areas, it will be much cooler than these temperatures are suggesting. So somewhere in the North Highlands, for example, it could fall to about one to three degrees. So tomorrow, still some showers in the southeast to clear away. Then a lot of dry weather, a fair bit of sunshine around. But with low pressure nearby, it does mean that we've got further showers coming in across Northern Ireland, Scotland, Northern England, clipping North Wales. Temperature-wise, 7 to about 8 or 9, maybe 10. Overnight Thursday into Friday, a new front comes in from the southwest and on Friday it moves steadily northwards, taking its rain with it, becoming ensconced across Northern Ireland, moving out of Northern England and into southern and central Scotland. You can see the cloud building ahead of it too. So it's a far north of Scotland and behind this weather front, much of England and Wales that will see some sunshine. Temperatures creeping up to about 11 in the south, 6, 7s and 8s in the north. Saturday, well not a bad day on Saturday actually, if you're doing some last minute Christmas shopping there'll be a lot of dry weather around but still those pesky showers in the north, again not all of us seeing them, some of them for a time could be wintry on the tops of the hills and mountains in Scotland but nothing too significant and temperatures by then are right about 7 to 10, 11 or maybe 12. Dan. Good morning.